The aim of this problem is to find a value of n that makes the equation work. But it'd probably be wise to stop here to see if you can guess a value. In a moment we're going to go through and have a look at a method called backtracking, which doesn't apply to all equations, but in this particular case backtracking is a method that will give us a value of n. The first thing we do for backtracking is ask ourselves what happens to the letter n. In this case we can see that it's being multiplied by a 2 first. 2n means 2 multiplied by n. So that's the first thing we do if we had to apply an operation to the letter n. The next thing that would happen would be the take away 3. And the reason why we take away 3 before the multiply 3 is because rule of order says do what's in the bracket first. After that the last thing that's left is to multiply by 3. And when we've done that everything should equal to 21. And we show that with a series of boxes. Each of those green arrows represents an operation that we've just looked at. Now to solve the problem using backtracking we have to set the boxes up to go backwards as well. So the arrows going in the opposite direction are going to help us in a moment to solve the backtracking method. Once again we asked what happens to the n and the first thing that happened was to multiply by 2. So we put that above the first arrow after the first box. The next thing that happens is we take away 3. So again what we do is we go back to our boxes and we put that above the second arrow, again moving left to right. The next operation is we multiply by 3. So once again we go back to the boxes and we put the multiplies by 3 above the last arrow. Always keep in mind the operations that you've applied to the letter you're trying to find. To solve this problem we have to apply the opposite operations in reverse order. So the opposite of multiply by 3, because that's the last operation that was done, is to divide by 3. And we place that below the last arrow going in reverse. You'll notice here that 21 divided by 3 is 7. The next operation going in reverse order is take away 3. So the opposite of that is to add 3. So again we apply this to the boxes. So we put the plus 3 below the second arrow and moving right to left 7 plus 3 is equal to 10. The next operation is multiply by 2. Remembering we're going in reverse order here. Now the opposite of multiply by 2 is to divide by 2. So we go back to our boxes and the last arrow moving right to left is to divide by 2. So 10 divided by 2 is equal to 5 and that's our answer. n is equal to 5. Now we can check to see if this actually does work. We'll go back to our original equation and put n equals 5. So 2 multiplied by 5, we've put that where the n was, take away 3, multiply by 3 and we're going to see if that equals 21. Now going to the brackets, 2 multiplied by 5 is equal to 10. So inside the brackets we've got 10 take away 3 multiplied by 3. We always do what's in the brackets first, so we should be able to work out what 10 take 3 is, which is 7, and then we multiply that by 3. Our result then is 21, which is the correct answer. So our solution of n equals 5 does work, and we've found the solution to the equation.